How's everyone doing? Come on. Here's the fucking noise. My name's Marco. It's a crazy group. I don't fucking care. <laughs> and that comes from a place of love, you know? Right? Like, you're not skipping out on Nana's wake. You're not ditching little Brian in his leukemia treatments. Hey, Slugger, look, we would really love to be here with you tonight, but you see, yeah, we got uh, these pro AM tickets. They're only good for tonight, and no, 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 don't cry, don't cry, because look, Dr. Snuffles is coming on the hook train. Last stop, brain's weak immune system. Choo choo! <laughs> yeah. If you've never seen my act before, I always compare it to like huffing nitrous oxide. We're sure you'll laugh your ass off and feel good, but you're gonna get sick real fast. <laughs> like this joke. When you, uh, when you first start comedy, you play in a lot of bars and you don't get paid, but if you're funny, someone will buy you a drink. And now there's one bar I go to and I get free shots all night. I mean, you know, sure, the cum shots, but free is free. I warned you. I was at the bank the other day, and they were out of the English deposit forms, but they had the Spanish ones. And to me, Spanish looks like Klingon, so... <laughs> but the woman ahead of me looked like she spoke Spanish, so I just gently tap on you know, her shoulder and go, Hey, do you mind translating this for me? And in the roots demeanor, she spins around and goes, Do I look like I speak fucking wetback? Yeah, and I thought, you fucking bitch. Because she said it in Spanish. <laughs> So this girl in my apartment complex, she was really cute, and I finally, finally got the courage to ask her out. And she never responded back, and it crushed me. And the more I thought about it, the more I realized, oh, duh, my telescope doesn't have a microphone in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, we went on a few dates, and uh, she turned out to be a real freak in the sack, man, a real kink in the sheets. I remember one particular night, we both ended up in handcuffs. Yeah, in the back of a police cruiser. Because the AMC moviegoers couldn't handle our love. <laughs> I have some weird fears, man. I have some weird fears. Like, I'm afraid of trains. And not like where I, I skip property on Monopoly, but like... <laughs> you know when you're on like, a train crossing and the arms come down, but then nothing passes through, so the arms come right back up? I'm always terrified of being the first car over those tracks. <laughs> it was funny to me. <laughs> I'm also deathly afraid of amateur pornography because I have really slutty family members in desperate need of cash. <laughs> Where are we at? All right. Uh, here's some thoughts, I think. <laughs> I think Red Bull's marketing is incredibly flawed. Because every time they produce a commercial, they show someone drinking their product and then immediately becoming an angel. Think about it. Like, that's Marboil's business. Stay out of it, Red Bull. <laughs> I also think a Dutch oven is the grossest way someone could possibly cook their food. <laughs> kind of a badass if you couldn't tell already. <laughs> Sorry, I'm on biking. Yeah, car sells the Tandem 10. Let's see. I beat, uh, did something incredible the other day. I beat a seeing eye dog in a staring contest. These are little clean ones for you guys. Here's another clean one. I would hate to work at a bank in the mountains because every customer is wearing a ski mask. I'm gonna end with this one, and uh, my dad, I know, I'm sad to see me go too. <laughs> my dad died last year, and uh, two weeks later his partner, 25 years, died as well. That's right, they were faggots. And I can say faggot on stage because I myself am an asshole. <laughs> but tragedy struck three months ago, and my dad died again. I was really depressed. And my boss pulled me into the office 
and started showering me with with questions. He goes, what are you talking about, Mike? You're trying to get time off again? You're telling me that your dad died again? Your dad's died last year. What's going on, man? He goes, look, Frank, yes, they were homosexuals, but they were also Mormon. So I have like 11 dads left. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I will be speaking again in Pomona at DBA 256. I know you guys have jobs, so it's fine. Also, 